Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my updated makeup routine while answering some of your questions. It's been almost two years since the last makeup video and I've been using some new products that I love that I wanna share. Before we get started, I wanna thank Sephora for sponsoring today's video. I've been buying all of my makeup from Sephora since I was in college. So this is super exciting that I get to work with one of my favorite brands and I can't wait to show you guys this look. So I've already gone ahead, prepped, and did my skincare routine. And I would say that my makeup has stayed the same in the sense that I still very much like something very natural and glowy for my everyday look. So that's what we're gonna be going for. I'm gonna start off by using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I've been using this a lot in the winter, right before I go to bed. And in the morning, my lips have just been feeling a lot more dry and chapped. So this leaves my lips feeling super soft and buttery and it adds a nice, little glow to it as well. Also, it smells delicious, you wanna eat it. Tell us more about yourself, I love your videos. So I think there's some new faces tuning in, so I'll just briefly introduce myself. Hi guys, I'm Lois, and I'm Korean American. I currently live in New York, and I'm a full-time fashion, beauty, lifestyle content creator. Someone also asked, what did you major in college? Can you tell us more about your undergrad years? And I'm gonna use the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. I think of sunscreen as like the first step in my makeup routine, I'll never leave without sunscreen on. That's what keeps your skin also very youthful. This is a clear consistency, as you can see. Love this because it leaves your skin feeling super smooth, almost like a primer. So I've been really liking the consistency. But I went to Vanderbilt University. So I majored in human organizational development, which is a major specific at Vanderbilt, but it's pretty much business and I loved it, especially with what I do now. And a lot of people go into like consulting, finance, law as well, but it's a bit broad and you also have to do an internship your senior year for a semester and I did mine in London. So that was also just a great learning experience and opportunity to work abroad. And now I'm gonna use my go-to favorite foundation, the Charlotte Beautiful Skin Foundation in 3N. And I never liked foundation before until I found this. It's just very natural and gives you a healthy glow without being like cakey. As you can see right here, it just goes on so nicely. I like to just use my fingers a pea size amount and just dot my face in different areas. One thing you love about yourself. I love this question because I feel like it's not something normally we ask ourselves, but for me it would be that I think I'm very true to myself and who I am. I won't change myself based on who I'm with or who I'm talking to, or I won't try to be someone that I'm not. It's like very important for me that you know I have a good sense of self. I feel like I've come to a place where I'm very confident in myself and secure in who I am. It also makes life easier when you're secure with yourself because you're not constantly feeling like you need to please others. Now we have a super glowy base. My skin is glowing. And then I'm gonna go in with concealer. I have two that I've been loving. This is the Fenty Beauty, and this is in the shade 150N. And then the Hourglass, this was recommended in my last makeup video, so I went and tried it. I've been a NARS stan, but this has been so good as well. This is in the shade Cedar. I like to use the Fenty for brightening, and just a little bit. And then, do you see yourself living anywhere other than New York? Um, definitely, yes. I do not feel tied down to New York whatsoever. I've always said that I don't wanna raise kids in New York. Also, I'm a small town girl at heart. I love nature, peace, and maybe even a backyard. So I wouldn't mind trying somewhere else. I just don't know where in the US. I'm pretty open-minded, but definitely could see myself somewhere internationally and maybe New York for two or three more years. And this is optional for me. I haven't really been wearing bronzer as much, but I love the Milk Makeup. This one is in the shade Dazed, and I love how tiny it is. It's great for when I travel. And I'll just blend it with my finger. What are you most grateful for? Definitely my family. They're like my rock and the most important people in my life. My meaningful relationships, like my boyfriend, my friendships, I feel like these are the most important to me and I care the most about in my life. So I'm definitely grateful for those and then my health. Now I go through phases with eyelash extensions and mascara. Right now I'm in my mascara phase. So I'm using the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. This one's the best for Asian lashes. It really just curls your lashes nicely and keeps them curled. So I just go like one, two, three 
and then I pull out a little bit more, one, two, three. And the curl is so good. Advice to someone who wants to follow in your footsteps now that it's oversaturated, hard to grow. I think having done this for two and a half years now and making it a sustainable and long-term business, my top three most important things are be consistent, know your niche, and hone in on your strengths. I am a firm believer that being consistent, and this is honestly with anything in life, is the key to winning the long-term race. Also nowadays, followings and likes aren't necessarily correlated to how much you make. Like someone with 50K followers might make more than someone with 300K followers because they have a strong brand conversion and they actually bring more value to the brand compared to the person that has 300K followers. Even for me when building my business, I found out what value I was bringing to brands and I started honing in on that. And it's been a sustainable business for me since I was around 40k followers so I wouldn't get too hung up on the numbers or what other people think and just do it Generally, I feel like mascara gives a little bit more of a softer look than eyelash extensions So I've been really liking it. I use the tire 28 in the shade jet black and then for eyeliner I like to just do a little wing at the end using the Kat Von D tattoo liner What has been the newest addition to your routine stuck in a rut and would like a suggestion? Ooh, it's for me. I've been running a little bit more recently it lets you get your mind off of everything because you're just concentrating on running It kind of makes you feel like you're on autopilot So for me, that's just been a great way for me to clear my head I also feel like finding a hobby or a little challenge can help you kind of get out of a rut And it's definitely not easy. I'm not a runner, but it's I feel like a challenge is always nice It kind of gets you motivated and excited to accomplish something Highlighter, which is my favorite part. This is something new, but I've been loving it so much. It's the Rare Beauty Highlighter. It was about time for me to change it up. I've been using the same highlighter for years, and this one's gorgeous. I got on TikTok, and everyone was saying that the Rare Beauty Highlighter is so good. This is in the shade Enlighten, and this shimmer is crazy. A little bit goes a long way because it's very brightening, and then again, I'll just use my finger. Look at that little shine. I'm obsessed. Same on this side. One advice for young women in their 20s. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, for me, it would be never settle, ladies. Know your worth. Whether that's negotiating your compensation at work or the men that you're dating, like know what you deserve and never settle for less. I think that's super important. Like you have to know your value. And then I'm just gonna highlight a little bit at the tip of my nose. Again, a little goes a long way. And then also my Cupid's bow. What are your travel plans for this year? So I'm gonna be going to Korea in May to go visit my grandma. I usually try to visit her at least once a year. And so I can't wait, I miss her so much. And then I will probably be doing something in Europe in August. I'm gonna be doing a 10 year friends anniversary with my college friends, which we're so excited about. Also one of our friends will be just finishing the bar exam. We're gonna celebrate. We haven't exactly decided where in Europe yet, but most likely that will be in August. So I'm really excited for that. Next, I'm gonna use the NARS blush. This is in the shade Dolce Vita. I've been using the NARS Orgasm blush. That's my signature blush. I wanna try something new and I saw this one in this like dusty pink. Thought it was so pretty. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. What is your way of self-love care? For me nowadays, it always changes, but it's been just Netflix and chill. I've been loving just laying down, getting some good food and binging a show. So I recently binge watched Singles Inferno. At first I didn't watch it and then everyone was telling me that I needed to. So I finally caved and oh my gosh, I was addicted. Like I watched it in like, I think two days. So it was so good. And now I've started Tamdari, which is a K-drama, which I've been also really liking. But it's just a way for me to like really get my mind off of everything and relax. So that's been my favorite type of self-care. I would say also I like being like outside. I'm actually truly not a homebody. Like I love going out, even if it's by myself and exploring something or taking a walk at the park. So that's also a great way for me to kind of just like take care of myself. We're almost finished. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Lip Shine. I love this. It's my favorite like everyday lip color. It's a nice nudie pink. And even though it's a lipstick, it's not matte at all. It's a lip shine, so it feels very 
glossy. I love this lipstick. I haven't found anything that I like as much. It's also very hydrating on the lips. Okay, and final question. Could you share tips on how you get out of a funk or stay motivated? How do you get yourself back up when feeling down? I've learned that a lot of things in life are mental and we're so much stronger than we think we are and capable of so much more. So when I'm in a funk or just going through a rut, it's nothing crazy, but just really shifting my mindset. That's also how I stay motivated. I believe that you can truly do anything that you set your mind to, but a lot of it has to do with your mindset and actually believing in yourself that you can do it. Also, I believe that all of us serve a higher purpose in this world. I feel like we're all here with our own abilities, potential, and talents, and we're here to make it a better place. So I think for me, I wanna leave my mark. That's what motivates me to live my life to the fullest. This is my favorite setting spray, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. So this is my natural everyday glowy makeup look. All the products that I use can be found on Sephora or Sephora.com and I'll be linking all the products down in the description box for you guys to shop. If you haven't already, sign up to become a Sephora Beauty Insider. There's lots of perks and thank you guys for watching. It was fun answering some of your guys' questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.